today, and today we're going to have a game of Shinobi, this time on the Commodore Amiga. Right, now I've played this on the 8-bit systems, well I've reviewed it rather, I never played it back in the day on anything I should say. Also reviewed it on the arcades, that was the first one I did. But now we're on 16-bit territory. Why do I get the feeling that I'm not expecting much from the Amiga? Arcade conversions hasn't been one of its strongest points so far. We've got some speech there, but... Oh, here we go. Oh, that's from the arcade. So it's a one-disc game. Oh, God. So basically this has got Atari ST port written all over it, hasn't it? Look at the scrolling, that's not exactly fantastic scrolling, is it? I mean, couldn't they use better colours than this? Ah, oh, fuck me. How's I go? How am I going to get past that? Right, the question is can I get up the top of the ledge? What? Right, that, that, oh, fuck it. See, on the Spectrum version, you didn't get that on the top, but the other 8 bit versions you did. But it was a bastard to get down. On the Commodore 64 version, it was a bastard to get up. All oh, right, space barrages. Is... Well, that would look absolutely shit. So we've got to get the babies. Kids, rescue the kids. Right, get down alright, just hold it. Oh, fuck. Alright, where's that fucking coming from? Oh, you get continues in this. But it's gonna send me back to the beginning again, like it like in all the versions, because it's the arcade version. Hang on, why do I have to hang on a minute? I've got a bad feeling you're going to have to restart the fucking game. Now, did I have four kids to rescue when I started? Because that was the whole point of having to continue was, yes, you fucking have to replay the fucking thing again. They didn't do that in the other versions. But mind you, I think the only Spectrum version had a continue. Uh, the home versions, that is. This is not a good game. On the uh, Amiga. Glad I didn't buy this fucking thing back in the day. Colours are awful. Colour, look at the colour. They're just ugly and they just couldn't be bothered. Oh, I need to get up there. Here we go. Ah, oh, fuck it now. Be honest with you, I much rather play the Android CPC version than this. This is awful. I couldn't even fucking duck down in time. I don't like it. I absolutely don't like this version. It's shit. Mission one. 
You got to... it continues. It's pointless. What's the point of fucking having continues if you've got to restart the fucking thing all over again? So, I mean, the only thing that looks all right is the actual character you're controlling. I mean, it's not a bad sprite, but the rest of it looks so shit. But it, it's it's a notorious people once again. I would I would have been livid paying full price for this fucking game. I would have been livid. I don't know how much it would have cost. Probably reasoning about 25 quid, 30 quid maybe. That's a lot of money for a, a game. But then again, that's what you expect to pay for 16-bit games. This is no, this is no good. It's no fun at all. Graphics look, the background, they just look disgusting. Right, well, I need to rescue those, so let's get up there. I got fucking kicked and I'm de ah fuck this. I don't like it. I don't like the Amiga version. I really don't. It just looks shit. It plays like shit. I must rather play the Amstrad CPC version to be honest with you. Um. At least they tried something with the graphics, what, and at least it wasn't a spectrum pole. This is just blanky and a fucking Atari ST pole. And the music don't sound that good. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.